Aside from being ready to eat, what do fresh cut salads, cheese, and deli meats have in common? These three foods have been recalled multiple times in the past few years due to contamination with the foodborne pathogen, Listeria monocytogenes. Infection from this bacteria can have fatal consequences in people with a weakened immune system, such as pregnant women, the elderly, or people with immunodeficiency disorders, because it can enter the bloodstream to cause sepsis, infect the central nervous system, and could even lead to death. In pregnant women, it can infect the fetus and cause miscarriages. Listeria monocytogenes is capable of these serious effects thanks to a set of proteins called virulence factors. Gene expression of these virulence factors occurs when Listeria detects low nutrient availability, temperatures of 37 degrees Celsius, and glutathione, which is a common reducing agent found in human cells. By mimicking the temperature and glutathione requirements for virulence gene expression, I compared the effect of different protein types on a reporter strain that expresses red fluorescent protein when the virulence gene ACT A is expressed. By monitoring changes in fluorescence, I compared the response of Listeria to hydrolyzed proteins from different food sources, including soy, casein, and whey protein, pure branched-chain amino acids, and fermented whey protein. The results from my experiments showed that hydrolyzed protein inhibited ACTA gene expression regardless of the food source, whereas free branched-chain amino acids had no effect. Protein fermentation did not decrease ACTA gene expression and did not decrease the effectiveness of the hydrolyzed whey protein. By using pancreatic enzymes for the hydrolysis of whey protein to mimic the digestion that occurs in the human body, I have shown that providing listeria with pre-digested protein could satisfy its nutritional requirements and provide the necessary signals to delay the onset of virulence gene expression during its journey through our digestive system. This may reduce the ability of listeria to infect cells and limit its spread to other parts of the body. To supplement these preliminary findings, a gut microbiota model is currently in progress to determine whether the antivirulence properties of protein are preserved in the competitive environment of the human gut microbiome.